My name is Charlene Williams and I work in hair and makeup. What initially attracted me to hair and makeup? Um, I guess it's working in a team, working in a team where everybody has the same goal. Um, I like working with different people all the time. I like working in different places all the time. Um, I think a nine to five would probably kill me. <laughs> A typical day on set for me is just making sure I have a good idea of who I'm working with, making sure I have the right equipment for everybody, um, and just knowing my schedule, making sure that I know exactly what I'm doing so that the day can run easily for me as well as the team that I'm working with. Uh, my journey into TV and film started, I guess it started with me seeing makeup ads in magazines. Um, and then in my later teens, I got scouted to do music videos and extra work. And I really liked the behind the scenes part. So I really liked the, the hair, the makeup, the getting ready. And I found that I actually prefer to be behind the scenes than in front of the camera. I got involved with Eurus because I received an email from Saru. She let me know that a film was happening and sent me the script. I read the script and was really excited about it and happy to get involved. Um, I've worked on All the Wives in Attics and Brown Sugar. Some of the biggest challenges I've encountered in the industry is, um, um, I would say, just getting an equal footing as everybody else. Um, I've been doing makeup for quite a long time, and I probably have the same amount of experience as a lot of people, but it's just kind of getting your foot in the door initially that I found quite difficult, um, and just venturing into spaces that you'd like to get involved in and, and don't really know how because... You're just not let in, basically. Some of the trends affecting my role in the industry in, with regards to makeup and hair in film, TV, um, and in the media at large, I say, would be, I guess, things have changed since last year. So since the Black Lives Matter movement, I can honestly say that I have more people reaching out to me than ever. Um, I'm no longer an assistant. I am now the head of everything that I do. Whereas more or less most of the time in previous years, I would have been an assistant. So that has really, really changed. Um, yeah, that's changed everything actually. Any advice that I would give to aspiring hair and makeup artists for film, I would say, I would say to assist, just reach out to as many people as you can and ask them if you can assist um, because that is the best way to get experience. It's the best way to learn. Um, you obviously learn a lot at school, but nothing beats being on set. So don't be afraid to reach out to as many people as you can. Don't feel embarrassed either. Someone at some point will get back to you. There's stuff happening all the time. It doesn't matter how big the project is or how small the project is because every experience is a learning experience. My three top tips to somebody aspiring to do what I do is to practice as much as you can, um, invest in products, invest in tools, play and practice. Um, that would probably be number one. Number two, I would say, don't be so eager to leave home <laughs> because in the beginning of your career, you're going to be doing a lot of assisting work and some of that may well be for free. Um, so stay at home where you're living with your parents who are going to be kind of paying, <laughs> helping to pay your bills um, so, that you can, so that you're not stressed in thinking you've got to earn lots of money to, 
to buy food and shopping and whatever and and you can really use that time in your early in the early stages to to build on on your career and number three don't be afraid to ask um like i said in my previous answer when you're asking for help um, or you're asking to assist it's the best way to get ahead you'll never get there on your own so don't be afraid to ask The one director I would like to work with would be Shaka King. Um, he did the movie Judas and the Black Messiah, which I thought was incredible. Um, I saw an interview with him and just the way that he's so passionate about black history and black movies and bringing it all to the forefront. But the way the film was shot, it was so stylized, so well done. Just everything about it was amazing for me. Um, and so, yeah, it would be a huge wish to be able to work with him. My hopes for the film industry for hair and makeup artists, um, I think sometimes hair and makeup artists' role outside of the industry aren't seen as that serious. Um, it's not seen as that serious of a job. It's just kind of like, oh, you do hair and makeup, like kind of anyone can do that. But there is so much more to it and it can be so intricate and there's so much detail. And without hair and makeup, TV series, the films that you love, just anything media-wise wouldn't look the same. You need all of those elements to create the beautiful masterpieces that you see and that you love. Um, so I, I guess for me, it would be to have the same respect as an amazing director. Um, so yeah, and the actors. So that would be a wish that we all have the same level playing field and the same amount of respect as everybody else that works in film and TV.